Double Diamond Railroad back after a long break traveling out of state and typical summer work mowing and keeping things up weed killing on two driveways driving me nuts out there I'm going through a lot of roundup and dealing with my uh, fledgling purple martins everybody's fledged out now and they're having a good time out there the best bunch I've ever had also um, I can declare my ant problem is solved no more ants no more black ants carpenter ants in here and um, turned out it was uh, I found the outside of the house the caulking around the air conditioning lines coming in and the foam insulation covering the lines was totally deteriorated and would fall off as you touch it dry rotted so I had an all new insulation put on had the guy strip all the caulk put all new caulk on that stopped it there's a pretty good gap there about 3 8 inch they were following those lines in coming in that's why I got earwigs because they like the moisture then the ants started following them so I always stopped that so and clean up this uh, oh stuff we got on the back like seven dust in the back corner get that cleaned off and get my um, two boards up on the backdrop glued up on the wall that's the next project here toward the fall so it's summertime we're off not doing much here except collecting supplies for the startup in the fall here so for the first time I got well first thing I got this turntable 11 inch turntable off Amazon really nice so I can do some spray painting in a box and then first time ever I got my loosen this up can't swivel it there the weathering powders Monroe models weathering powders to do some rust and darkening things on the tank cars especially but on roofs a lot of roofs on cars I haven't done yet by hand doing so we're going to experiment with that never use powders always use uh, washes and stuff like that and I got my two badger rail brown colors got those in and I've been using flat brown we're going to use this one on the right for a little drop of red mix in there for rustier stuff so we're going to get another coat down of this on the back two tracks back there on the main line and I may put a drop of red on the siding so I want to see how that comes out then we have another oh this is a rival track series number 39 I'm up to now we have another item here I'll stop and put that on the table okay I just got these in from Lombard Hobbies and I wanted some KCS cars since they're going to be going away. Another fallen flag. So they had a triple pack. And they're already pre weathered, got some graphics. May do more to them. So I got those three cards to put out. I got tons of box cards, but man, on the virtual rail fan cams, I'm seeing box cars galore, even on mainline trains moving a lot of them I think when they had the problem with containers they put a lot of stuff in box cars again now so I want to have those KCS uh, those will look good so that's the uh, new additions what's going on we're still busy got the grandbaby coming in about three weeks in Tennessee and we're getting stuff packed up to be on standby to book out of here and working on different things outside getting things ready keeping the yard mode short in case we're going to go quick so not much railroading I tried to I wanted to make a stop on the way back we just came back from there two weeks ago after going to the baby shower and I wanted to stop I got a brochure on it the uh, depot l &N depot in Bowling Green Kentucky I thought it was going to make it, but we got held up. My daughter had to have her car in the shop, and they got delayed. So we went and picked her up, 
hung out with her for a couple hours. Then I said, well, we got to go. We got to get up the road to LaGrange. So we did. So that took all my time. I had allotted for the depot tour I was going to take there. At least get some videos outside and get some CSX going by. So I'm saving it for this next trip, maybe on the way home. You can do that. All depends on the weather and all that stuff. Everybody's flooding out in Kentucky today. It's terrible. So we have to work around that too. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Had to throw you a bone here. I haven't done anything, but that's the way it is in the summertime. Everybody take care. God bless. Be safe. Watch out for the flooding. Double Diamond Railroad out.